Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to it. Weird World of Erica it was formerly a manifesting channel and it kind of still is, but just branching out to other things that I know about. I mean, <clears throat> anyway, I'm just going to be led to talk about whatever um, God wants me to talk about because uh, I don't have any plans for this video. <laughs> So, um, I'll start out with, uh, I guess, remember last time I was talking about how, uh, my, remember I was, um, asked, cause like I always tell you guys to ask God for guidance if you're ever stuck. And, um, and then he led me to, um, being like handling my, um, my, oh my God, sorry, that was a. Anyway, <laughs> that was a cop sitting in there as border patrol while they're hiding in the bushes. But okay. Um, anyway, and I was speeding a little bit, not too much. Anyway, okay. So back to um, remember I was talking about the strength card and how I kept getting that for months on end, and I was misunderstanding it, and so I would look at it, think it means to persist or whatever, and. Um, and I'm just sharing because it's part of my journey, you guys. And I don't know if it helps you guys. You guys are just interested in following or I don't know, whatever. Um, I'm just sharing my experience. So that strength card about persisting and I didn't, I know I wasn't quite understanding it fully. So I'd always look at it like, hmm, I wonder why would you keep getting the same thing? That's what I kept feeling. Why am I getting the same thing constantly? You know, if I'm understanding what my message is supposed to be, and um, I don't know, and God talks to you through your intuition. It's that quiet voice that just kind of you can hear it in the background. Your ego always talks over it. Uh, it's that quiet voice that's so subtle that you'll miss it if you're not paying attention. Often, if you're paying attention, it's like it won't talk so it's very very nuanced and difficult thing to explain um, but anyway that's how God talks to you that's what I think your intuition is and um, sometimes when I want you know a deeper understanding I'll ask the tarot cards because sometimes you know intuition you can't it's not so easy to access even if you're practiced like I am so I can't even imagine how it is for you guys out there who don't have a good relationship with your intuition or God, whatever. And um, anyway, so I was asking about that. And uh, remember a couple weeks ago, I had that epiphany or whatever. And I was told that um, if I want this to work with my husband or whatever, and I'm just talking about this because it's, I don't even know why. It just... I guess that's what I'm guided to talk about. I didn't have any plans for this video at all whatsoever. So this is what we're doing. Um, and anyway, so I was told to handle him with like kid gloves because his fragile ego, <laughs> even though he's, you know, wasn't a nice person to me sometimes, a lot of the time these past few years, um, he has a sensitive side to him that is extremely sensitive and like I said I don't know he definitely seems autistic to me and it's not diagnosed so I can't say for sure but uh, I'm pretty sure he probably is he just anyway I'm not gonna get back into that and that's part of the reason why I have this unconditional love for him because I don't know like any other ill family member not it's not an illness per se but you know, the way of operating with other people, it hampers or it handicaps it, right? And for that reason, I've always had this unconditional love for him, unlike anybody else except for my kids. Never for another adult like that. It's a very weird thing. And so, I don't know. And... I, I don't know. Anyway, it's just to handle with kid gloves and... The more I handle him with like kit or showing, you know, empathy, which I've always have, but you know, it came to a certain point and it's such a fine balance because 
you know, it, it's a matter of learning to love myself, stick up for myself in a gentle way, right? That's the message I think I'm hearing, or I was hearing. Be, um, stand up for myself, and you don't have to do it in a harsh way. It could be gentle. But, you know, when people hurt us, especially when it's fresh, we can't always be gentle. You know, we might turn our back or, you know, or get angry, you know, out of pain, right? And, um, anyway, since I've been putting that in, and I wasn't even doing it a conscious way. Since God gave me that message, I kind of unconsciously been operating that way towards him. And it's opened up more dialogue and more, I don't know, the relationship is changing now. How our communication, I guess. And I didn't do that purposely. It was just, I don't know, I just asked God to work through me in everything I say and do and to, for him too. So it goes both ways. So this is why I think God is necessary when you manifest. He just is. And when you don't use him because, not because he's egotistical and wants you to, you must use him. You must love him. You must obey. It's not like that. That's not how God is. He's loving. If you turn your back on, on his help, it's not like he's angry or sad or anything. It's just a, it's just what it is. You're using, you're going in a way that, you know, you're not going to be optimal in your actions, thoughts, and life. That's all. So it's like you're turning your back on your, it's like you're pushing away a helping hand and, um, then I say you enter like negative territory where you're like real selfish and I don't know. You know what I mean? Using negative energy like that's bad. Then you start asking for the assistance of the other energy, the opposite energy of God. Um, and this is not about religion at all. I'm just talking about God and the opposite energy. You could call them Satan, devil, whatever, evil. There's the two um, yin and yang energies. And then since I've used God, I've... I mean, I want to do things in the right, most ethical, most, I mean, because that's how I like to operate. You know, granted, I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect, but I try, you know, we all have to try, not try to be perfect because we can't be. But we got to try to do things right as much as we can, I guess, um, in a way that's like beneficial to everybody also. And um, anyway... I don't know, a lot of people don't understand where I'm coming from with this unconditional love thing. I don't even know how I got here myself. <laughs> it just is. And um, that's where I guess I'm supposed to be. And I don't know. But that's where I'm at and things have been changing. I don't want to go into details about that. But I've, I've taken notice. And I don't know what's next. I'm not even hang, not even like, I'm not like worried. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it. Or not attached to anything. Um, but anyway, I don't know if this is going to help you guys in with anything. I'm just talking about my experience. I mean, I hope it does. If you guys are stuck in a similar situation as I am, or was, whatever been following along whatever I'm just guided to say this and I am so um, and I guess another thing I have to work on myself is like I got triggered with a couple comments and um, maybe you guys will be able to uh, understand too but like one person was really like religious talking about the Bible and my dad was like that so and you know I kind of asked to agree to disagree and then she like made a, another comment about the bible and i don't know if it was before or after i said that and if it was at the same time or whatever but maybe you didn't see that message and i i don't mean any i'm not angry or anything i just when people want to agree to disagree that's when people need to cut it off and not keep pushing it you know what i mean especially as my community or whatever and i just don't I don't, I don't know. Just like you can tell me all the Bible verses you want. I've read it all as a kid and, and as a young adult. 
and not just the Bible, but other books too that I've read, holy books or whatever. And I've also read all of the Quran too. And there's more science in the Quran though that I've noticed. Um, anyway, who cares? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Absolutely does not matter. Um, but my point was also, so I got like a little upset because she kept going on and on. I'm like, okay, stop already. <laughs> um, and I think she, she was like apologizing saying, you know, I didn't mean to like cause anything, but maybe it was a misunderstanding. Maybe she posted that, um, after I had already mentioned about dis agreeing to disagree. You know, she wasn't disrespectful or anything like that. Um, just when you ask somebody to stop, they should stop. And again, if you didn't read that comment where I was asking you to agree to disagree, whatever, who cares? It's no hard feelings. Like, I don't care. You know, and, and you can still comment. I just don't want to hear Bible verses. Um, so that was my journey. You know, this has been my journey. And you can't force anything upon anybody. You can tell them things, right? But when they ask you to stop, you gotta stop. And um, also, I don't know, as my channel grows, I can't even imagine how much more wild it's gonna get with all the different opinions. And even now it's really hard to keep up with the comments with just like, what, 50 to 75 more subscribers than I last had last month, month ago or something. It's really, um, and welcome to all you new people. Um, I just can't even imagine like what a thousand or several thousand, that's gonna be wild. You know, and I like to, you know, keep up with my comments every day, but I could see that becoming a full-time job and me not be able to keep up with them so much because it's already getting really hard. Like I answer them several times a day and I just like to keep engaged with you guys. I, I really enjoy it. I like exchanging ideas or discussing things, whatever, you know. Um, and then my psychic readings and all that. Like, I always welcome um, opposite opinions so long as they're respectful. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't care. Like, even somebody said something about my, I don't know, my Sammy psychic reading she's like about quit putting quit pushing negativity gosh I'm like okay <laughs> whatever do you know what I mean that I mean that's not that horrible so I left it up there she's not being disrespectful it's her opinion she doesn't understand where I'm coming from that's fine and I, I'm not gonna explain that's another thing I want to get to is like when you've been traumatized as a child and an adult you over you try to over explain because you're so used to getting uh, blamed wrongfully or do you know what I mean you guys will know if you came from a household like that and I have to learn to quit doing that it's a bad habit of mine I don't know anybody any explanations for anything it's you know my channel and I stand in my what I do here you know am I perfect no but when I make my videos especially my psychic readings I do it just to share and just to, I mean, the psychic readings are really fun and easy for me to do. And I believe it can help people too, to decide, right? Like somebody took on somebody else's coaching because of one of my readings. And you know, and the reading is always a balance of, of negative and positive, right? And it's up to you guys to decide what you feel, what resonates for you in your gut. like my reading makes you feel a certain way about a coach whether it's negative or positive it helps you make a decision right because it also is going to make it's just going to reinforce whatever gut feelings you had before you got my reading like um if you had really heavy positive feelings about that coach it will re uh, whatever i say positive is just going to reinforce that <clears throat> and whatever negative i have to say about that coach it's just going to re um, reinforce that and you may not, you may decide not to do, go coaching with them or whatever. The whole point is up there and just for that. And plus it's interesting to dig deeper on people, right? These are the people of the community that um, 
some are good, some are bad, right? And it's, it, it's just awesome to be able to dig deeper in an unconventional manner. <laughs> like, you know, through psychic... And I don't even know sometimes what I'm going to get. Like the Athena Raven reading, I was blown away so much that I didn't even... I didn't even do a reading on her coaching. <laughs> I forgot. I was just so shocked. And... Um, <clears throat> So I had to do a separate one in one of my community posts for just the coaching alone. So if you guys, you know, I did, I forgot to do that in the video. So I put it up in the post with the, the tarot cards that came with it. And um, yeah, I don't know. And you know, somebody else disagreed with me and they did it respectfully. And I'm fine with that because I want everybody to share their, if they have experiences with any coaches that I do readings on, I would love for you guys to share them below, whether negative or positive, because I want people to be able to see, you know, the balance in, in all of it, right? I'm not trying to push you either way. I don't care what you guys do. I'm just putting it out there for you guys to use that information. Um, and what I get is what I get, regardless of my personal feelings about these people. And personal feelings don't matter anyway. They're irrelevant when I go into these readings. I try not to bring those in. Um, but again, my personal feelings usually are based on my intuition. It's not necessarily like personal feelings. So I usually base most of my decisions or beliefs are based on intuition. And... Um, do you know what I mean? On the truth of what I feel is the truth, I guess. Well, I just said that twice, but you know what I mean? Uh oh, bumpy road time. But yeah, um, yeah, just because I, I, you know, sometimes in my comments I could be like blunt or whatever. Um, it doesn't mean you can, you don't, you know, you can't say what you want to say as long as it's, um, respectful we're not name calling like a child i'm not having that i'll block you for that somebody's downright disrespectful or, or mean they're not being objective about things they're gonna be name calling or whatever yeah that's automatic bye-bye we don't need that kind of stuff here you know and i want people to be feel safe that they can comment so they see somebody acting like that in the comments. There's no way I want somebody like that around. Or they, I don't want anybody to feel like they're going to get attacked by others. So that's one of the reasons I also... I've only deleted a few people, I think, ever. Two or three. And it was the Neville crowd. <laughs> Mostly from the Neville crowd. Where they got really triggered by that. And, um, yeah. <clears throat> anyway... <clears throat> But yeah, that's about it on that. And then, um, I don't know, I guess I want to talk. I don't even know if I need, I need to talk about another topic. I don't even know how I would come, like, say it. I don't even know what I was going to say. I was going to make a message for one of my subscribers in the end of this video. But I don't quite know what to say that I already didn't say in my comments to them. Anyway, I don't know. <laughs> I think I've already said it, so it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, I don't know what else to say. This has just been, I don't know, to me a boring video. Maybe you guys don't think so, but that's what I was called to talk about. And I'm almost at work, so and the road's getting bumpy and this is going to be bouncing everywhere. Um, so I'm just going to go... I mean, if you guys ever have, like, a video idea, let me know. I'll be happy to do it. I have a huge list of psychic readings to do on coaches. I might turn it to celebrities as well. Because that might be interesting. Like, anything that's, like, you know, maybe people that are out and... But, like, I don't watch the news, so <laughs> if there's anything going on... I know Taylor Swift was in the news a while back. I don't even know what happened. I just kept seeing her everywhere. I don't even know. 
But if that's something you guys are interested in, you can put that down below there too, or anybody you'd want psychic readings on. I have a huge going list and I'm like knocking them off and then like you guys will suggest more. So that's going to be an ongoing thing for some time. And they're really fun to do. So because I, I learn things with you guys, like it'll pull stuff out that um, I didn't know how to articulate yet or that was like subconscious knowledge and it gets pulled out with the cards. I, I love that. It's so awesome. Like I'll have a feeling like Athena raving at the raving raven I had a feeling about her like a bad feeling but I didn't know why and then I did the reading and then I was like whoa you know what I mean and one of my subscribers you guys you guys I think a couple of you also picked up on that feeling about her before I did this as well and um yeah there's something going on with her there uh anyway I'm gonna go and um yeah, if you guys have anything to say about anything at all, you can put it under the comments, suggestions, whatever. I do want you guys to feel safe commenting. Not, Don't think I'm going to just attack you guys. Just because I'm really blunt sometimes, that's a, that's my ADHD thing or whatever. It, it's sometimes I'll just bleh emotionally and, you know, word-wise. But I don't mean any harm, I swear. Um, yeah, anyway. It'll take, it takes a lot to piss me off, so. Anyway, just ask my husband. <laughs> it took a long time. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye now.